Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist John Dissauer. Thanks for checking out my blog, New at Dissauer, here at Dissauer.com. It is Tuesday, February 2nd, about uh, 1240 or so, and let's talk some weather. It has turned a whole lot colder outside today. Yesterday at this time we were sitting in the 30s to even uh, upper 50s around southeast Missouri, southern Illinois, western Kentucky, and northwestern Tennessee. Today we've got temperatures sitting in the 20s. Um, and look at the cold air back to our west. Uh, the snowpack really taking effect in temperatures only of 10 degrees in Oklahoma City, 6 in Grand Island, 6 degrees in Des Moines. Now to give you an idea, the heaviest snow reports I've seen run somewhere up along here, including Chicago, back through Iowa, eastern Kansas, and down through Oklahoma City. Uh, I've seen one report of a 21 inch snow out in this portion of uh, Missouri. Uh, can or St. Louis really not getting a whole lot of snow at all. It turned out to be a lot of sleet and sleet oftentimes uh, will eat into snow amounts. But you head just west of Winsfeld and the snow really picks up. My uncle out uh, just east of Cedar Rapids said he's got a lot of snow and then up towards Chicago lots of snow. Uh, a lot of 18 inch reports of coming in from north central Illinois and through western Missouri. So the snow really fell out that direction. Uh, and then, of course, back towards central Indiana, a lot of ice to deal with. Uh, friends and family back in Columbus, Indiana reporting power outages there. Same story up around the Indianapolis area. And uh, oftentimes with ice, you don't start to see the effects of it or feel the effects until the day after um, once the, the ice settles and then the winds begin to pick up, which they are doing today. Let's take a look at the RPM model. This is specifically a 15Z run. Um, but the 12Z run is also doing the same thing, and I wanted to show you this to give you some heads up. Friday morning, here we are at 11 o'clock, clouds beginning to increase. And look to the bottom of the screen, you'll start to see moisture coming up and over the top of us. It's going to be a quick little moving system if this pans out. This is really the only model showing this at this time. Um, but it is indicating there could be some snow uh, moving up and through the uh, KFES viewing area late Friday night through Saturday morning. As to how much snow we're talking about, you'll see once we put the snow accumulation on, how it really moves it up over the top of us pretty quickly. <coughs> but it does put a solid band of snow, three to four inches, running from the Missouri Boot Hill through northwestern Tennessee, southeastern Illinois, and western Kentucky, up through Evansville, and even south central Indiana, and into southwestern Ohio. Not a sure thing, because again, not all the models are indicating this. Uh, just one, uh, the RPM has been hinting at some snow coming in here for this. Um, but it has done it for a couple of runs in a row, so it's something we'll keep an eye on. The other system we're going to watch comes in for Sunday. Uh, we'll she'll see clouds increasing uh, during the day Sunday, and then we'll see uh, moisture over the top of us. This is the GFS model, and you can see it's got a little bullseye of moisture over the top of us. It could produce a couple inches of snow for so southeastern Missouri, uh, southern Illinois, and maybe western Kentucky and south so central Indiana and that quickly moves out of here, but high pressure moves in across the central plains and really cold, cools us off. I'm only going highs right now for the weekend in the 30s, and then by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, we're talking temperatures only in the 20s once again. So really no big warm-ups uh, appears coming our way anytime soon, but maybe uh, two rounds of snow coming our way within the next seven days. That is the latest from here. Uh, make sure you check out the tabs at the top of the page. You can now see there's a radar section and you can also watch us and warnings. Uh, there's an interactive radar you can sit there and zoom around the country and, and get observations. Lots of different information you can pull up on the interactive radar. That is the latest from here in the Weather Center today. Um, I'm off the next couple of days and I pr probably will take some time off. I'm still feeling under the weather and I'm going to do a lot of sleeping the next couple of days and see if I can get my energy levels back up. So. That is the latest from here. Thanks for checking out my blog, and uh, take it easy, stay warm, and be safe.